Two for one deals on junk food are going nowhere after the government delayed a ban on them. The government was part of its anti obesity strategy and would have included bans on deals for foods like ready meals, sweets, and crisps. But the government says with food prices so high, now is not the time, as our political correspondent Carl Dinan reports. Choosing healthy options can be difficult at the best of times. So to help, the government said it would ban buy one, get one free deals on unhealthy food. But today, ministers said they would delay that ban. It's a difficult balance. Uh, and of course, uh, tackling obesity is a priority for us. It's why we've introduced a, a number of measures already. But we also have to be mindful around the cost of living at the moment uh, for households. As a health minister, do you feel comfortable with this? No, I do. And I think we, are, we have got a real focus on trying to uh, reduce the levels of obesity. Campaigners say this is the wrong time to allow multi-buy offers on junk food. We end up actually spending more. We don't save money. We buy more of those products. And as a result, we then start to consume more of those products at the expense of healthier food and drink, which at a time when we're in a cost of living crisis, we need to access, you know, good, nutritious food because our budgets are constrained. Most people know what's bad for them. And there's some support for banning multibuys on junk food. Well, I think this should they should. Um, junk food is not really good for anyone. And we are buying too much thing, too much of shopping than we need because of the buy even get from DL or something like that. Junk food just is not good for them and healthy food is better. But given half a chance, Rishi Sunak himself will grab a Coke and a Twix. He's delayed the two for one ban until after the next election. But even if Labour win that, a ban doesn't look imminent. Food inflation is even higher at the moment than general inflation. People are really struggling uh, to make ends meet. So I don't want to do things that add pressure to people's ability to make ends meet. Ministers say they are tackling obesity by reducing sugar and fizzy drinks and putting calorie contents on menus. But for now, you can still buy one product that is high in fat, sugar and salt and get another one free. Carl Dinan, ITV News.